Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin at Soul Level 1. And if you notice any odd pauses or just some weird gruffness in my voice, I'm uh, currently coming down with a little bit of something, so it may make me a little bit nasally, or uh, just a little bit of uh, coughing fits that I will do my best to get through. But I wanted to play, doggone, and I wanted to play, so here we are. So last time, as you can see by my uh, beef jerky-like presence, as well as this giant hammer and a shield, we finally got to play around with a bigger heavier weapon thanks to the vessel shield that we acquired in the crown of the ivory king dlc specifically after killing ava the king's pet now in doing so i was hoping to kill ava while she was invisible and it just wasn't happening i gave it 12 or so attempts and it just it wasn't going to happen so instead i made a beeline after some failed glitch attempts to go get the eye of the priestess but the Eye of the Priestess not only makes Ava visible, but also transparent enemies in the shaded ruins and in the forest around it, it actually makes them visible and gives you the ability to lock on. For example, this individual right here who would normally be well hidden. Wow, he's got some health. Yeah, he would normally be invisible and completely uh, unable to be... Why is that chest not opened on uh, you couldn't actually target him and now we can thanks to the eye of the priestess but that's not the reason oh no are we in new game we're in new game plus why wait did i have to kill scorpioness Nachka again i actually have no idea why we're in new game plus um peculiar to say the least huh why did we do this? Remind me in the comments why we did this. The reason I'm here is because we need to rescue Weaponsmith Ornifax. Ornifax is a, not not really a blacksmith, but a weaponsmith. But she's much like Strayed of Olaphus in that she will trade boss souls for certain weapons. And uh, it just feels right in order to get her freed. But also, I had asked in the chat what you all think I should do, and it was pretty unanimous that I ought to rescue her. Now, to rescue her, though, I do need to use... What is going on right, New Game Plus? I'll finish that thought here in a moment. Right, to rescue Ornifex, we need a Fragrant Branch of Yore, and we need to unpetrify that statue right there so that is you know i say that's what we're doing but really oh shoot i did not intend to jump all the way down there there's the door we need luckily we can just walk right out what did we need Najka for i don't know at any rate let's go ahead and free this individual this should give us the fang key that will open up that door that we just saw. Okay, wait for the target. Should we try a parry? <laughs> no, we shouldn't! <laughs> I regret nothing. <laughs> Off to an absolutely stellar start. I'm really racking my brain to try and figure out why. Oh, you followed me? Why we're in New Game Plus? What? What is your plan here? Are you gonna drop down? You're really gonna try and patrol? Oh. I was not aware he would do this. So, bear with. Stop running. Please stop running. No, seriously, stop running. Oh, actually, that works out very nicely. And look at that. Fang key acquired. Perfect. Now, I could drop down here. I'm a, I am afraid of the fall damage, which I guess is... Whoa! Someone unfounded. Okay, we can, uh, we can kill him in one shot, though. Heal up, heal up, heal up. 
Oh, blue. Oh, blue. Okay, how about some running R1s? Excellent. Yeah. Uh-oh. Everything's breaking. So many things just broke. One thing just broke. <laughs> Still, that's one thing too many. All right. We got what we needed, though. Actually, wasn't there an item in one of these offshoots? Yes. Breach when killing Titanite. That's a very good get. Right, Ornifex, finally. We've rescued you. Thank you for helping me. I am Ornifex. I owe you some form of thanks, but have nothing for you at the moment. If it would not trouble you, could you visit my abode just down the way? Thank you, kind traveler. I believe that I can be of assistance if you would visit me at my home. Thank you. Okay, good. Exhausted the dialogue. Grab yourselves another fragrant branch of your. That is perfect. I really should. Because I think. Oh, for crying out loud. I do think that there is another petrified lion that I didn't get previously. Oh, wait. That's just a place you can drop down to. So, before we go visit Ornifex. Let's go and unpetrify that one other statue. Because I think you also get a fragrant branch of your there. So there's a few places in the game where if you obviously know what's behind, you can spend a fragrant branch of your and then get uh, pretty much get the return on investment right away. Oh, we're in trouble. Unless I just keep flattening with R2, which, you know, is the... Oh. Okay. Now, Grackle. I'm speaking to you directly here. You told me that I needed to... Did I need to release? I'm trying to remember. Something about using the left analog stick to guide these attacks, I think. Down to 21. I don't know how easily I'm going to get the hang of that, but we shall see. I don't want to fight more than one enemy. Okay, fortunately, it looks like you're just hanging out. You do not get staggered, huh? That's impressive. Uh-oh, too early. Problem. Yep. Oh, wow. That lag between knocking them down and killing them is tough. How's our, how's our HP doing? Cutting off quite a bit thanks to the uh, the hollowing effect. Let's give that another go. I, I want to get that chest. And I know that there's items over here and you know, people are probably going to absolutely lose it at the fact that I'm just leaving some of those shinies. Okay, wait, 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 patiently. Wow, yeah, look at that. That tracking is... Ooh, you almost killed me with a crossbow. I'm not used to heavy weapons. I feel like I've been very, very clear on that, but now it's even more noticeable. Uh oh That... <gasps> Just completely poisoned them. One-shot me. New game plus. You are not kind to Soul Level 1. Do I need it? Ugh, gosh, no. Gross. I am hideous. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go visit Weaponsmith Ornifex at her home at the bottom of... I think this is the closest, right? There's going to be some spiders at the bottom of Brightstone Cove Seldora. Yeah. Spiders. Lots and lots of them, but if I open the door, oh, it's not here. Oh, I got turned to rule. Right. Okay. No. <laughs> this is my best episode yet. So the plan 
now that I know kind of where I'm going, is just a beeline. Go, 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 go. I'm gonna get hit by magic. Roll. All right, there she is. Now wait. Wait. Oh my heavens. Oh, okay. Not so bad when it's not in, you know, New Game Plus. I don't love the fact that the door's broken. Is the Basilisk coming in? No? All right. We can have a conversation now. Oh, we meet again, kind traveler. This is my workshop. In your tongue, I believe I will be called a blacksmith. I create all manner of equipment. Using an ancient technique unique to my people. Normally I only cater to a very select few. But I have a debt to you. I will craft one thing of your choice. My wares are far from ordinary. I am certain that they will please you. I will require no payment this time. But you must bring me a wondrous soul. My technique absolutely requires it. I trust you will understand. That's right, I forgot that her very first trade is free after you rescue her. Also, she is a blacksmith. I don't know why I said that she wasn't. But also, has there been any discussion, it, and the internet, internet exists, so obviously there has, what is going on with all these statues and these dolls, these mannequins, and why do all these seem to have, well, um, honestly, what I think looks like it fits there is a human effigy. So what is the deal with this workshop? Also, her people, this little humanoid crow type person, the only other place I believe that these are utilized is in Dark Souls 1 in the painted world, not of Ariamas. Yeah, Ariamas. Ariandel is the Dark Souls 3 DLC. And they're not too kind there, so uh, curious. But let's see what she can trade. Oh, ivory straight sword requiring 40 dexterity, holy cow. But I could get it because it's free. The Thorn Greatsword. Ooh, that is cool. But 20 strength is possible. But 14 faith. I don't... It, it's definitely not, at least currently. Drakewing Ultra Greatsword, which would be very, very cool. 18 dexterity is out of the question right now. Uh, but what else? Lost Sinner Sword. Spider Fang. Spider Silk, so much, so much dexterity requirements. Okay, Butcher's Knife could be fun, though. An A Scaling in Strength, 25. That could be fun. The Sacred Chime Hammer, not happening. Iron King Hammer, definitely not. Spitfire Spear, 18 dex is too high. What's that from? Oh, Guardian Dragon, okay. Dragon Slayer Spear, not happening because of that dexterity. And the King's Mirror, 35 strength. Okay, so... We would need to get the rotten soul again, which I think is completely doable. So we might we might pick up the butcher's knife, which is really nice, especially because you do get HP back on kill. The butcher's knife belonging to Manator Mildred in Dark Souls 1, of course. Alright, let's see, what do you sell? Mirakumo, Partisan, Twin Blade, Compsa Bow, Heavy Crossbow, Firebolt, and Fire Arrows. Ooh. I can buy a whopping 10 of those. I do want some of those though. Amber herbs, green blossoms, flame butterflies. Homie soul arrow, homie soul mass, fall control. Okay. All right, let's see what else she has to say though. The nature of an item is vaguely influenced by the soul that was used to create it. They can be tricky to use, but when wielded properly, they are extremely powerful. This is what I meant by unique. These wares are not for use by ordinary folk. It's hard to believe now, but this land was once a flourishing kingdom. Its king, Vendrick, came close to unlocking the essence of the soul. What a dazzling soul he surely had. Imagine 
what I might create with such a powerful soul. It is said that our technique originates from a strange being that inhabited this lab. A pale beast that lived long, long ago. We don't even know what exactly it was. If you find a wondrous soul, bring it by for me to have a look. I don't know how much dialogue I've ever really paid attention to with Ornifex. You humans are always this way. The way you glare at any unfamiliar creature. That mix of curiosity, fear, and revulsion. No, it hardly concerns me. I wonder if... Given the fact that she referred to a pale beast who is obviously doing some soul arts, and the fact that if you go into New Game Plus and kill the Duke's dear Freya a second time, then you get the old one soul relating to... Oh, goodness gracious. Come on. Sorry. Sickness. Causing the brain fog. We're going to get there in the end. Pale, scaleless dragon. Seath! Seath the scaleless from Dark Souls 1. Was Seath the pale one that originated this? This whole transposition of boss souls? I'm sure this has been discussed ad nauseum. I just have never given it any thought. That's very, very cool. Alright, stop. Stop talking. Okay. Well, I don't have the souls to repair anything, but I think we have some to-dos. The first one, because I asked what I should try using with my newly acquired Vessel Shield, and the Roaring Halberd seems to be one that you want to see me use. So, in order to get the Roaring Halberd, I need the Skeleton Soul again, which means we need to... I am going to grab this, even though there's zero souls in it. It would bother me if I didn't. We are going to head to Huntsman's Cup. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Get him, get him, get him. Okay. Oh, more. Oh, more. No reason to die now. So we're heading to... Did I never... I never got... Oh, shoot. I messed up the uh, the Peyton Creighton questline. A long time ago. and probably said that I, I wasn't concerned about it, but now I am. Alright, so we need the bridge approach. I can't believe I never got the undead lockaway key. Oh, but wait a minute. I think I need that in order to respawn the Skeleton Lords. Right? I don't think it's this one. Okay, yeah. I just confirmed it. It's the Undead Lockaway Bonfire. So, I somehow missed the key before. We are going to have to go and track that down. No real need to kill everything here. We've already done so. But let's look for shinies at the very least. Well, you asked for it. I'll take your amber herb. Bridge is already down. Oh, Jiminy Crickets. Right, 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 right. Serpentine, serpentine. Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running. Oh, golly. Wait, wait! It's open. Does it open eventually, or did I open it? <sighs> How am I missing? Now I just don't know. All right, well, it's time. This is probably gonna be absolutely horrible. I may have to do some cheesing with, with crossbows. I don't know. Oh, boy. All right. Well, I only have two human effigies, but I think it's time to use one for sure. And let's get some Tic Tacs on the old hot bar. Also, I am fat rolling, right? So what? Dexterity. Oh, just for the bell keeper? No, no, no. Let's switch this out for the Royal Soldier's Ring. Yep. 
gives me a better roll. Not incredible, but also my stuff is so broken. What was that? Wow, I gotta be really careful about using the left analog stick. If I put on the crossbow, will I be fat roll? Look at this. I have two pieces of armor on, they're both broken. Let's put something else on. How how light can I get here? Oh, jeez. Done. Say no more. The question is, can I put the crossbow on while wielding this absolute... Look at this. Honestly, this is just peak fashion. Crossbow. Thunder 70. Okay. Now let's make sure I have... I have... Nope, those are arrows. Dark bolts? Let's do dark bolts. Oh, good golly. Good damage. Ugh. Did I poison him that quickly? Ooh. No, thank you. But I'll play the uh I'll play the game. Ooh, you're gonna win that game. Or will you? Doesn't seem like you will. All right. Slow and steady. You know what it wins. All the pasta. Okay, one shot. I am digging that. Now, I don't want to go up there because I think Merciless Rowena will spawn again. There's loot to be had. I'm aware. I like that I can still one-shot them in New Game Plus. That is beneficial. Thief Dagger, nice. Come on now, oh. Not what I wanted, although, somehow worked out very, very nicely indeed. Flame Butterfly, I'm poisoning all these poor souls around me. Make sure we don't let this break. Ooh, you know what I need is Alluring Skulls. Do I have any? Oh, I have three! Okay, that that might be enough. Also, are they... I mean, Gold Pine Resin should help. I don't remember what they're weakest to, but Blunt Damage is definitely going to do the trick. That's for sure. Uh, okay, we're good. What? Oh! Oh, no thank you! Oh! You weren't concerned about whether or not I was okay with this. Uh... Oh, Black Phantoms. Good. Take that wall. I think we might have to go up top. Let's go. But if we lure him this way, this might work. Ah, oh, crud. There she is. Ah! How fast is she? How fast is she? Too fast! Too fast, too fast, too fast. Oh, the butterfly wing! Love it, love it, love it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I want to turn around. She dropped down, but that's okay. Let's give this a go, shall we? The damage is absurd. Okay, so what is that gonna spawn? We wanna get the ads first. What do we have? Okay, just the regular skellies, I think. Lots of them, though. Holy cow, just throw one. Oh, that, that was actually really bad. Move. Oh, the damage is not terrible at all. I'm going to... It's going to be really bad if they all hit you, though. Beautiful. Move. Move. <laughs> Okay, watch the fire. Uh, nope. 
Bait and attack. Run away, run away. Ready? Run R1. Awesome. Move. Excellent. This is actually probably the best to get rid of quickly. Just because of that massive... Oh! The massive amount of ads that it produces. I don't need to loot that. I don't need to loot that right now. Uh, that was the skeleton soldiers, not the bone wheels. All right. Okay, let's uh, R2. Awesome. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I had that in the bag. The question now becomes, can I just run that? Oh, you know, this way is going to be unlocked, right? I don't believe Bonfire Statics reset gates. And I think we're... Goodness gracious. Yep, okay, there's the gate. We're all set. We're all set. This is dumb. Oh! <laughs> Got some upgrade materials. So much for my human effigy. Alright, we gotta we have to watch our stamina more though. Wow, one shotting or not one shotting you. Oh nice lead, okay. I just tried to use a tic tac, it didn't register in time. Okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, tic tac, go. Just keep. Oh my. Again. Part of me wants to just kill all the lords at once and then use the Lording Skulls to group everything. That might seem really, really dumb. But we'll see. Okay, that's one. Yep, good. All right, well, the deed's done. Okay, um, oh, now I'm terrified. Alluring, alluring, alluring. Move. Oh, criminy, another alluring. I don't know how long they last. That was amazing. Oh, dear me. That's so many. That's so many. I have no more alluring skulls. Run, run, run. I know the bone wheel skeletons are not nearly as bad as they were. But if I can get them on their own. Okay, move. I on a swivel, I on a swivel. Head on a swivel, that's the saying. Whoa. Oh, I don't love this. That works for me. That works for me. Uh oh, move. I don't know if I got the other one. I think I did. Because it only spawns two. I. Th All right. This is it. This is it. That was actually the strategy. That's not. That's not the strategy. Tic Tac. Oh, we got this. If we don't. Blue, blue. What did you just say? <gasps> All right, are we good? No, we're not good, because I keep whiffing everything. There we go. Oh my gosh. I have to heal, even though it's just the one left. I have to. Pancake clock. Goodness gracious. Let's 
trying to get to the now nah, clear blue uh, blue stone plus two there we go all right yuck 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 but 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 apparently words are coming out in uh, groups of three we are now gonna go travel back to a bonfire then we are gonna head over to straight oh make sure we take off our butterfly wings that would not be good Oh, I took off a crossbow, thinking that was going to help. Alright, feeble cursed one. Trade. There it is. The Roaring Halberd. We can make this work. We can make this work. Now, what was the other thing that you can get with that? Oh, nothing. Just the one. Okay. Now, in order to wield it, first off, how much does it weigh? I mean, this way is 18. It's got to be less than that. Can't even use the Aldi hammer. Here it is. Okay. 16. Not much less. Oh, shoot. Okay. It's so cool looking. Unsettling skull carved into this halberd recalls the final moments of the skeleton lord from whom it was created. Imbued with the power of dark. Okay. Now, what we're going to need... Oh, my. Jeez, we need, we're going to need Kel's Helm, right? We're going to need the Ring of Dexterity. Okay, so that satisfies my Dexterity requirement. Then I... Oh, jeez, this is going to be terrible. This is going to be awful, and I love it. Because what we need is the Ring of Knowledge... And the Ring of Prayer. And that should... Yeah, that, that works. So what is the moveset? Is it just pokes? No? Okay, that's an overhead. Spin to win. Does it have any special moves whatsoever? No? We can't... Can't one-hand it. What is the strength requirement? 16? Oh, it's really cool looking, but it's uh, nothing special. Nothing special at all. All right, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to Majula. And we're going to see about upgrading. Now, what is my equip load at? 67% with no chest piece. Butterfly wings even put me over. Oh, my Imported manchettes are... Are they the lightest? No. Moon butterfly cuffs are. I'm just trying to shave just a, the smallest amount. How, how are the germ... Oh, because they're germ. 1.8... 1? Okay, prisoner's gloves are 1. 70.4. Black leather boots are 2.2. Prisoners wait I don't want to do prison. Tell me why I don't hate that. Just under. Okay. Okay, so let's reinforce our new weapon as much. What is that? Oh, the Majestic Greatsword. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Okay. Well, it goes up pretty significantly with every upgrade, because it only goes up uh, up to plus 5. But we're looking at a difference of 37 physical and 22 dark with each upgrade. And I have lots of petrified dragon bones. I'll be okay. Alright, so what is the AR now? 584 is not bad. Really and truly not bad at all. Moveset's not the worst. Of course, I can't... Hold on. I was going to say, I can't buff it. Oh, I don't have any too much... Oh, that won't work. Because I need, I need each and every one of these, right? I wish I could get away without using the dexterity. Although, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, 
I don't need the dexterity ring. I don't need the dexterity ring, which means, okay, wheels are turning, yeah. Okay, right, you can't do that. What spells do I have? Great magic weapon. Or sunlight blade. <laughs> What if I used spices to get this down to 10 and put magic on it? That's po- Ooh. Actually, I don't know if that is possible because it's a boss weapon. I could test it with Sunlight Blade. Okay. I, I need to give this a go. Because I can't remember. Yes, I could just look it up, but that sounds dumb. Let's do... Which ring is it? Southern Ritual Band, okay. We've gotta put on a chime, and I know this will put me over. I don't think that, oh, it's not gonna put me over. I don't think this is gonna work anyway. But let's give it a go. No hecking way. Uh, ha <laughs> ha. Right. Wait, I still can't... Oh, because I have to put the... There it is. Okay. Why have I lost... Wasn't it 584 was my... I thought 584 was my attack rating. Why is that not matching? 579, why did I lose five points of damage? Oh, because dexterity scaling? Dexterity scaling, that's why. Look at that though, 310 physical, 210 dark. I'm not against trying this out. All right. Yeah, this is gonna happen. So, a whole, whole lot of stuff to get to here. And next, we're gonna go kill some giants with it. Hopefully. Hopefully. All right, it's time. I've put this on long enough, and, and by put this off long enough, I mean uh, the last bit that you just saw was recorded almost two weeks ago. I don't even know what I said. I don't even know what I'm using. What is that? Skull? A skull stick? I'm using a skull stick. I'm only kidding, it's the Rory Halberd. Uh, but we're gonna go I'm after me. the giant lord. That's the plan. I'm just here because I have some souls to spend, so why not? Thank Dump them into some life gems, and we're going to be heading... I need some human effigies. We're heading to the Force of Fallen Giants. Specifically, we want the Cardinal Tower. Yeah. That'll work. And let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. I am going to try and use Sunlight Blade on the Roaring Halberd, which is... Oh, I forgot about all those. We'll get there eventually. Okay. One shot. Got the bastard sword. Nice. Running R1 with the spin to win. Beautiful. Let's just try a single uh, R1. <laughs> Loving it. And we've already opened up this door, which means we already killed the CN Knight. Now we just need the symbol of the king. So we'll put on... Excuse me. Symbol of the king, the king's ring. There we go. Beautiful thing is it just opens once you've already done that. So we'll drop the strength and ring it back on. Now, I don't remember this being too particularly dangerous. Then again, that wasn't at soul level one. So we shall see how this goes. First, I do believe we have some... Twinkling Titanite down there, but I guess let's hold off on that. Ah, all right, let's see how it goes. One step closer to uh, Vendrick. Memory of Jay. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see how I do. Spoiler alert: probably. Not great. 
I don't even know if I'll be able to survive a single one of those fireball attacks. But we do want to try and get the loot, right? Bonfire set it. Good to have. Oh, careful now. Alright, here comes the rolling head of doom. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Oh, crud. It doesn't go as far as I thought. <laughs> there it is. Here is our uh, our adversary, Giant Lord. Okay, somehow a solid first start. And a second. All right, let's see what kind of damage we do. Whoa! Okay, let's add some Sunlight Blade onto this. Okay, probably don't add Sunlight Blade on to it. Uh, why did I just use... A life gem? I didn't, actually. Oh, doggone. <laughs> Thought he was just going to bring it down in front of him. That's okay. But that damage was excellent. Wow. I do, however, I want to see it with Sunlight Blade. That was, what, 530? 550? Now, what I don't remember is where I can hide from this head. Am I safe here? Ah! Yes, I am. Good. Oh, he's already attacking, though. Yep, yep. That's a problem. Bloom. That fire could have killed me. All right, what I want you to do is attack in front before I... There we go. That works. Oh, I missed. No. 612. Go in front. Oh, shoot. I thought I was safe in front. There we go. Heal up. Double chug if you need to. I thought I had rolled that in time. Okay, that's in front. That's excellent. Okay, in front. Huge damage. Absolutely huge. Just watch your stamina usage. Go in front. Careful. Oh, stomp, stomp, stomp. 596 damage is just absurd at soul level 1. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming a bit too late. Give me something I can work with. Thank you. I'll take the stomp. And I'll take the finish. And if we can quickly get to our covetous servals, silver server, 90,000. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Go ahead and grab an old reading at Life Gem. I think we have all the loot except something that might be over here, which. Is that the giant soul? Okay, keep moving, keep moving. Soul of a Giant. So what did we just get? We just got the... What was that key item? The Giant's Kinship? Great access to the throne room beneath the cat. That's right. I actually forgot all about that. Why do we need that? Why do we need the Giant's Kinship to access that throne room? Peculiar, isn't it? Wow, not bad. Not bad at all. Might even have time to go finish that last giant memory. Now I have to remember where the last giant memory is. Oh, past the pursuer. That's right. Uh, can we just go ahead and leave now? I can't believe that damage. Okay, I am going to be smart though. I have over 100,000. We are going to go back and buy some bright bugs and whatnot. I think this will allow us to buy two of them. I've already bought them all. Blue. <laughs> never, never mind. Right, okay. So, upgrade materials it is then. We'll buy your slab, we'll buy your twinklings, why not? I have 15 more of those, I really don't need more. 
but I have quite a bit of these as well. Tell you what, let's buy, I don't know, 30 regulars, and then nine of the large just to spend our souls. There we go. I do have the Twinkling Titanite at the last place. Uh, tell you what, I'll probably just get that off camera. I don't really need it. So instead, we're going to be going to the Cardinal Tower is the best. Yeah, yeah, still the best place. And yeah, let's head over to the last memory. It'd be, be kind of cool if we could actually finish this with the uh, Vendrick fight. Really depends on how this next memory is going to go. <laughs> or it's going to depend on how these uh, these pike soldiers are going to go. Move, move, move. Go, 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 go. Excuse me. Serpentine, serpentine. Oh, the negative stamina hurts so bad. Kind of fun to try and hit him with a bullet. Oh, there's so many. Never mind. Benny? I I don't recall seeing Benny here, but now I want to talk to him. How, how does that not kill you in one shot? They're still coming. How is this not breaking your guard? Okay. At least they left. Jump. What? Please don't die. My word. Well, if we get to talk to Benny, it'll all be worth it, right? No! I meant to grab the item. Because I think... Don't you have to talk to Benny to summon him? Oh shoot, Memory of Oro. Yeah, this one, this one's a challenge. This one is a challenge. And I don't recall what's best to do, up or down first. Wait, what? Oh! <gasps> Wait, why don't I have the stats? Oh, because I took, what did I take off? Dexterity ring? That's why I'm not doing enough damage. Oh, blue. Is that it? No, that's still, how is that still not it? Oh, because it wasn't, it wasn't that. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna have to kill him. Not, what? Now I get stuck to Benny. That's why I did that. Let's try this again, shall we? What am I lacking? I'm lacking intelligence, right, okay. So what I need is the ring of intelligence. The ring of knowledge, excuse me. Oh, blue, 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 blue. Try this again, I'll probably, hopefully be one-shotting the Drang Lake soldiers now. Yes, I still have to go take on the Sallies. Good. Yes, that feels much nicer. What doesn't feel nice is the stamina consumption. That is, that's a bit rough. Okay, two shotting isn't bad. And I don't, I don't love the halberd moveset. But, it is what it is. I was trying to get fancy with a back step, R1. Inventory bag's full, hey. Not a bad problem to have, right? I 
I do love the fact that the memory that we were just in where we fought the giant lord was this one right here. I just think that's, I don't know. It's, it's really cool, the way that they use that. Well, we meet again. What are you doing here? Who'd have thought we'd meet in a place like this? <laughs> Fate just won't let us do apart, will she? <laughs> <laughs> See, the old sword's caught your attention. Well, you've a good eye, then. That has been in my family for generations. They say it is crafted with moonlight. And we all know what that means. It wards off evil. And I would need trader for all the riches in the world. It's said that no man has ever teased out in the sword's true power. But... in the right hands... <laughs> I see you've taken a liking to... but if you... then... I've a great debt to I, Ben Hart, swear by my honour to aid you in your darkest hour, so no problem, pal. Is that it? Have a great. That's it. Excellent. There we go. Now we can examine. Let's try it again. Yep. And Benny's inside. That's right. Look at you, old friend. I see your travels way up on the end. Just remember, I'm always ready to help. My homeland is in the Far East, a kingdom of honorable fighting men. And this sword here yeah, weighs a true man to wield it. I know how swords think, you see. <laughs> My homeland is. Oh, Benny. I really do. I think Dark Souls 2 has some of the best NPCs from Soft has uh, has written. Oh my goodness gracious! Move! What was that damage? Wow! And still not dead? My heavens! This does not bode well. <laughs> I guess I should probably block a bit more, huh? Are you using fire arrows? Is that why I took some extra dent? Yeah, you are. Come on now. Stop it. Come around the corner. Come around the corner. Not that corridors are my friend with this weapon. Three shots for a basic soldier that's rough back up back up back up back up back up back up and only 150 souls does not seem to quite match how much it takes to kill him all right fading soul which is absolutely nothing So, oh trap! That's what you are instead. I knew there's something with it. Soul of a hero. Oh, times three. Okay. What? Wait. What did that do? Is that a... Right, I don't remember what that does. Okay, I guess we'll just keep going up. Does it... Is it the room above it? Wow, 
watch it now. Okay, right, they're fighting. Which is good for me, bad for them. Wait, am I being attacked? Did you just kill? Who's killing you? Wait, I hear it. Oh, it's someone on that ballista right there. I'll be honest, I'm just trying to... get that guy to uh, do as much for me as he can. Wow! Why are these easier to kill than the Drain Lake soldiers? I could not even... Wow, Ash Mast is already thin. That's not good. Alright, let's keep moving. Well, this is the end right here, isn't it? Is it not? It is. So I got the Soul of the Giant. So technically, I've got what I need. You're almost dead. Ha! Well, that was pretty fun. Guess... Well, that's fun that they actually come back for some reason. I mean, I can go right back in. This time, go a little quicker. I don't know if there's much else I need to get. I have, let me just double check that I have all of the giant souls. I do, I have all five. We could go, in theory, go kill Vendrick, and he's not usually a very challenging fight, because you just strafe around. I'm not sure who just killed you, but that works for me. I don't think you can come in here. I'll tell you, why don't you do your thing down here? I've got to, because there's a platform I know you're supposed to lower, and I, I'll be honest, I don't exactly remember how you lower it. Oh shoot, this is silly, this is silly. Serpentine, serpentine. Oh. Okay, life gem. I'm gonna run right past. You're all doing your thing, you're doing a wonderful job. Yeah, it's this platform right, shoot, I'm stuck. But that platform right there can get lowered, right? Because then it allows you to Drop into that window, I think? Excuse me? Or maybe, do I have to go and climb that ladder? I and mean, there's more loot that way. Did you, did you all kill the big giant? No, I don't. Yeah, see, there's a hole there. Can, you want me to work with you guys? I really like that he's just watching over, like, what, what did you just do? The same thing I just did to you now. Now, can I potentially hit? Drats. That would have been... You're all just gonna take some little pot shots at him, huh? Do we think there's any way that I can just get up this ladder? I'm not sure what's up with the AI here. A little broken. I'll take advantage of it, though. Especially if those soldiers want to focus on the giants. Oh, they did until now. Excuse me, Serpentine. Wilted we'll Dusk Herb, and there is the room I'm trying to get into that I cannot. So what does that look like exactly? Got another soul vessel, which is absolutely useless at soul level one. 
I don't remember how I lower that. It's got to be up above. Okay, one more time with feeling. Not concerned about them, so we just keep going up. And just let them, I guess, kind of duke it out, and then maybe we'll just explore up here a bit more. Beautiful. was excellent. Oh, watch it. This is good. This is good, because now I'll just get a... Well, I'm not going to get a backstab on. Oh, shoot. Back up. Come over here, please. Over here, please. So now we can explore. There's nothing to interact with here, right? Though it sure should be. Hmm. There's no lever or anything. I'm blanking on how to do this. I swear there was a way to lower it. But what did that Ferris Lockstone do? Is that the key? Do I need to go back down and replace it? Because I didn't actually... Oh wait, or do I just aim for that? No. I don't think. Maybe I do. I think I'll die though if I don't put on... Let's see. Let's get rid of the Southern Ritual Band. Let's put on the Cat Ring. I know if I drop all the way down, I'm dead, but maybe. Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, crud. Okay. Uh, let me get back up there. No! Ah. Okay, this is about all the time I have left for. There. And then, oh gosh. Got it. Okay, we're in. We got a big guy. Oh no! Okay, he fell. It's at risk. I don't actually care. Stand up. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, they can be at risk. That's fine. I think. Oh no, there's another treasure. Quick. Oh, please don't. What do you got? Simpletons and skeptics? Hurry, 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 hurry. It's gonna be close. This is the last treasure in this memory. And. Bonfire static times three. Oh, what a good get. All right, perfect. Benny has now departed. We have all five souls. We are ready for Vendrick, but that is how we're gonna kick off the very next episode. Pretty productive, I'd say. So that's gonna do it for this episode of Blue Plays Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin at Soul Level 1. We, uh, we are running out of things to do besides the DLC, and that scares the lights right out of me. So I hope 
you join me for that. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're still enjoying. And I will see you next time.